By about March, the COVID-19 uh, started affecting all of us here in Sri Lanka. Traditionally, the auctions were at the Ceylon Chamber of Commerce. We had about 100 buyers get together with the broker. The broker goes lot by lot, shouting out, asking for prices. So that's how the system was running for the last 137 years. 10% of the Sri Lankan population, almost 2.1 million people, is involved in this tea industry. Tea makers, our, our workers, our farmers, our master tea tasters, our blenders. By about middle of March, people started complaining they cannot come. They were unprepared for the suddenness of the shutdown. When the government decided that they had to go to find an online solution on the tea industry, they couldn't. There, there was no resistance, of course, because they had no other options. Um, several actors uh, come together to deliver a solution in six days, believe it or not. We work with this fantastic team of uh, uh, Sri Lankan tech guys. So we made history on 4th of April 2020 by having the first auction, uh, digital auction, uh, going live. When you digitize it, the difference is there is a pin drop silence. Nobody talks. There are a lot of advantages in this system as well. Because you know this, uh, here you can see all our buyers. From April, the prices moved up in Sri Lanka a lot. So I think the producers are happy, the, the state is, government is happy, so generally all are happy. People are happy with the efficiency and things like that. So I don't see us going back to the physical auction. Most of the other industries were shut down, but the industry continued to work. I think it's a great achievement for all of us. Best way to get them to look after your people is keep them safe, keep them healthy, keep them employed. And that's what the platform did for, for Ceylon Tea.